Journey with us to the far reaches of our solar system, where mystery and beauty collide in a swirling celestial dance. Brace yourselves, stargazers, as we unveil the first-ever real images of Neptune, the enigmatic blue giant that has captivated our imaginations for centuries. Imagine plunging into the depths of its azure atmosphere, navigating through swirling storms and gazing upon the secrets hidden within its icy core. Today, we shatter the veil of distance and unveil the majesty of Neptune like never before. Prepare to be astounded as we unravel the mysteries of this distant world, revealing breathtaking vistas, mesmerizing storms, and a stunning celestial spectacle that will leave you awe-inspired. Join us on this extraordinary visual odyssey, as we unlock the secrets of Neptune, unraveling the wonders that await us in the vast expanse of our cosmic neighborhood. Get ready to embark on a voyage of discovery, as we bring the beauty of Neptune directly to your eyes for the very first time. It is nearly impossible to see Neptune without a telescope even from the highest points on Earth due to its distance from the Sun, making it the least explored planet in our solar system. But what could be so mysterious about this planet? Would you be surprised if we told you that Neptune, one of the coldest planets in the system, can support an ocean of extremely hot water? Today, you'll discover more about that, Neptune's peculiar rings that explain why it is so blue, and what is currently known about its renowned satellite Triton. The planet is mostly made of water, methane, and ammonia, like the other ice and gas giants in our solar system. Neptune has no solid surface, its atmosphere extends deep into the planet to the mantle, which is made of methane and ammonia, ice, and rock. Neptune is an ice giant that is about four times wider than Earth. It has a radius of about 15,300 miles and a volume of 15 trillion miles cubed, which means Neptune is one of the coldest planets in the solar system due to its average atmospheric temperature of minus 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Additionally, current study indicates that much of Neptune chilled from 2003 to 2018 despite thawing around the South Pole from 2018 to 2020. The cause of the ocean's development inside the ice giant is likely owing to seasonal changes in atmospheric chemistry, although experts believe this bizarre phenomenon can be explained by internal processes. On the other hand, astronomers Sloan Viktorovic and Andrew Ingersoll think that the likelihood of oceans on Neptune due to its heat is quite minimal. Heating hate released due to gravitational compression or gravitational contact between Neptune and one of its satellites Triton. One explanation for the enormous internal energy could be Neptune's collision with some cosmic object because Neptune is the only planet that emits nearly three times as much energy as it receives from the Sun, which is also confirmed by the unusual 28-degree tilt axis almost as much as on Earth because of this. The chance of an ocean there increasing to 40% after the giant cools down from only 15% at this time according to scientific calculations. The atmosphere of Neptune is 80 hydrogen. However, the closest planet to Neptune, Uranus, also contains a similar distribution of gases but unlike Neptune the color is pale blue. It also contains 19 helium and about 1% of other gases, including methane by the way Neptune's blue color is caused precisely by methane clouds in the upper layers of the atmosphere methane molecules can absorb solar shortwave radiation reflecting the blue color. The density of methane fog, according to Dr. Patrick Irwin of Oxford University, may be the cause of this color variation, and both planets' atmospheres have many layers of aerosols as a result. The second layer is probably just what affects the colors of the planets, it is a layer of haze particles in which methane ice probably forms, the ice then precipitates as a rain of methane snow because Neptune's atmosphere is much more active than that of Uranus, Neptune forms this snow more readily. The bottom deep layer is composed of a mixture of hydrogen sulfide ice, it is because of this layer that some areas can be seen closer to the third layer of the atmosphere, which is rich blue in color and extends the second layer, also produces big particles of methane ice. The storms that cause the dark and white patches on Neptune's surface, which are caused by the planet's incredibly fast axial spin, are another feature of the planet. The windiest planet in the solar system is Neptune, with winds there reaching 1,200 miles per hour, or roughly four times as fast as Jupiter. However, the ice giant shares one characteristic with Jupiter, it occasionally experiences massive storms. The enormous dark region with an Earth-sized vortex is known by its straightforward name. 
the Voyager 2 spacecraft discovered a cyclone orbiting at 1,500 miles per hour for the first time in 1989. In contrast to the 300-year-old cyclone on Jupiter, another instrument, the Hubble, found the spot had vanished and a little new spot had emerged in the northern hemisphere in 1994. As large-scale vortices on Neptune only last for two to six years, Hubble found a new area in 2018 that resembled the one found in 1989. Though their origin and years-long creation are still unclear, scientists believe these storms have much to teach them about the formation of the atmosphere. The following year, the new 2018 spot started to drift southward, where it would have vanished. Unexpectedly for experts, the storm turned around and started to move back north. In addition, a smaller spot presumably detached from the larger one. The tiny vortex, which has never been seen before, may help break up the large storm, according to NASA experts. Since they move faster than the huge spot they probably originate over vortices where gases freeze into ice crystals and clouds of white methane have been observed to accompany cyclones in the past. According to astronomers, the absence of clouds may aid in understanding how patches occur on Neptune and other similar ice giants like other gas giants. The James Webb Space Telescope captured a near-infrared image of the frozen giant in 2022 revealing its faint rings and satellites, which is another aspect of Neptune. Voyager 2 captured the last picture of Neptune's rings more than 30 years ago. About five rings may be seen in Webb's most recent image, and each one is named after an astronomer who has made a contribution to the study of Neptune. Halley is the closest and loosest ring. It is 26,000 miles long, with a radial width of 1,240 miles, and contains between 40 and 70 percent dust. The second Laveria ring is considerably brighter but also much mistaken. It is a bit over 62 miles wide. The next ring is the Lasso ring, which is the broadest of all. Its proportion of dust is relatively low, ranging from 20 to 40 percent. The fourth Arago ring, which has a radius of 35,540 miles and is one of the smallest rings, is difficult to discern. It is located on the edge of the lasso and is likely hardly perceptible due to its low dust content. The last Adams ring is the thinnest ring of Neptune, with an orbital radius of about 39,724 miles and a width of barely 35 kilometers. However, what distinguishes this ring are its arcs. The arcs are enigmatic, brilliant dust seals that surround the ring. Each of Adams' arcs has a name, including freedom, brotherhood, courage, and equality. The reason these arcs formed is still unknown, but researcher M.T. to Peter suggests that the cause may have been the collapse of a parent companion or other object in the Roche limit in addition to the rings. It is interesting to note that they are not static at all, in particular, brotherhood and equality exchange their material and change their size. Webb also captured images of seven of Neptune's 14 satellites, which are divided into regular and irregular ice giant moons. Some of these satellites, such as Despina and Galatia, act as shepherds for dust in Neptune's rings. However, the most intriguing feature in Webb's image is the farthest bright satellite Triton. In the image, Triton appears to be a star because it glows strangely more than Neptune. Triton is Neptune's largest satellite, it is larger even than Pluto, with a diameter of 1,680 miles, which can be equated to 99.7% of the mass of all Neptune's moons. It is also the coldest geologically active object in the entire solar system. Its surface temperature reaches negative 391 degrees Fahrenheit just because of its light reflecting icy surface, like any of the moons of the ice giant. Triton experiences wave blocking, meaning that only one side of it is turned toward the planet. The unusual retrograde orbit of Triton, Neptune's largest moon, is indeed a fascinating phenomenon. Scientists believe that Triton's orbital characteristics provide strong evidence for a specific scenario known as captured moon hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, Triton did not form alongside Neptune during the planet's early stages of formation but instead originated in the Kuiper Belt, a region of our solar system beyond Neptune that is populated by numerous icy objects, including dwarf planets like Pluto. Triton's initial formation likely occurred in a different region altogether. At some point, 
Triton strayed close to Neptune's gravitational field, and the planet captured the moon through a process known as gravitational capture. This capture event dramatically altered Triton's trajectory and caused it to enter into a retrograde orbit around Neptune, moving in the opposite direction to the planet's rotation. During the capture process, Triton's original orbit would have been highly elliptical and inclined relative to Neptune's equator. Over time, gravitational interactions between Triton and other objects in the Neptune system, as well as tidal forces, would have circularized and aligned Triton's orbit closer to its current configuration. The capture of Triton likely involved a complex set of gravitational interactions between Neptune and other objects in the vicinity. The details of this process are still an area of ongoing research and investigation, but it is thought that Triton's capture might have been facilitated by a close encounter or a series of gravitational interactions with another moon or a passing object in the Neptune system. As Triton settled into its retrograde orbit, it began to experience tidal forces from Neptune. These forces act to slow down Triton's rotation, causing it to gradually move closer to Neptune over time. It is believed that this tidal interaction between Neptune and Triton played a crucial role in circularizing Triton's orbit and aligning it with the planet's equator. The capture of Triton and its subsequent orbital evolution is a remarkable event that has left an indelible mark on both the Moon and the Neptune system as a whole. By studying Triton's unique characteristics, scientists can gain valuable insights into the processes of moon formation, capture, and orbital dynamics in our solar system. Moving toward Neptune, the satellite could also destroy other moons. Neptune has very few satellites compared to, for example, Jupiter, around which there are almost 70 objects. There probably could have been more, and they would have been larger, had Triton not been captured by the giant's gravitational pull. The features of Triton don't stop there. If you pay close attention to images from Voyager 2 taken in 1989, you can make out the satellite's unusual mosaic surface modeled with plumes. Scientists have estimated that the Moon may have a subsurface ocean based on the plume's likely hints, as well as the depiction of a depression sim and the analysis of the crater's surface age, which ranges from 10 million to 100 million years. Triton probably holds a lot of ammonia beneath its surface, which slows the freezing of the water. However, plumes may appear due to solar heating, causing nitrogen to compress beneath Triton's icy surface until the nitrogen escapes at this point, making it very difficult to prove that the satellite could be an oceanic world. Solar heating also likely creates the moon's thin nitrogen atmosphere, but the possibility of life developing there is on presumably is remote. Our solar system's edge is marked by the Kuiper belt and comets. The belt's distance from Neptune is 30 Australian dollars, or roughly 20 Australian dollars. It's likely that a planet could have formed from the Kuiper belt since it is primarily made up of small objects like asteroids and tens of thousands of larger objects, including dwarf planets like Pluto. Scientists have made an intriguing observation regarding certain objects in the Kuiper belt, such as Pluto, which appear to be in a long-term resonance with Neptune. This is noteworthy because typically, planetesimals can only temporarily enter into resonance with another celestial body. To gain a deeper understanding of these phenomena, we eagerly await upcoming scientific expeditions that will shed light on the chemistry of these distant worlds and unravel the many mysteries surrounding Neptune. Among the unanswered questions are the precise composition of Neptune's interior and the formation process of ice giants in general. These enigmas continue to captivate our curiosity as outsiders seeking knowledge. As we reach the culmination of our incredible journey into the depths of our solar system, we have finally arrived at the enigmatic and mesmerizing ice giant, Neptune. The first real images of this distant planet have left us awe-inspired, revealing a world that has captivated our imaginations for centuries. These groundbreaking images have unveiled a world cloaked in swirling clouds and an ethereal blue hue where monster storms, rivaling even the ferocity of Jupiter's great red spot, dance across its surface. The images have allowed us to witness the grandeur of Neptune's unique ring system, adorned with icy debris, bearing witness to the celestial ballet that has unfolded for eons. But that's not all, the images have given us a glimpse into Neptune's turbulent atmosphere, where winds howl at incredible speeds, and where icy geysers erupt, catapulting frozen crystals high into the sky. The discoveries have ignited a fire within the scientific community, 
urging us to delve deeper into the mysteries of this distant world. We stand at the threshold of a new era in planetary exploration, where technology and human curiosity have brought us face to face with the wonders of our universe. We invite you to join us on this extraordinary journey, where we unravel the mysteries of our cosmic neighbors and dive into the frontiers of space. To continue witnessing the awe-inspiring discoveries and mind-boggling mysteries of our universe, make sure to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with the latest space missions, discoveries, and mind-expanding insights that await us beyond our own planet. Don't miss out on the breathtaking wonders that lie just a few light years away. So, hit that subscribe button now and embark on a voyage through the cosmos with us. Together, let's explore the vast expanse of space and unlock the secrets of the universe. Remember, the universe is waiting to be discovered.